Painkillers, blood thinners, and chemotherapy drugs are just some of the substances that are found in your drinking water. There's new information that some drugs are ending up in our water at levels never seen before. CBC's Kelly Crow has more on that. There's something happening to the rainbow darter, a tiny fish that lives in the rivers of southern Ontario. If they're downstream from a sewage treatment plant, the male fish turn into females. If you expose them to wastewater, they will feminize. They will have eggs in the testes. What's causing the males to develop eggs? Human hormones, residue from prescription drugs that are flushed into the river. Using new highly sensitive equipment, scientists are finding an increasing variety of prescription drugs in the waterways. Painkillers, blood thinners, chemotherapy agents, hormones, antibiotics. If we swallow it, scientists can find it in the water. Some of the drug comes in us and through us and out of us totally unchanged. So we actually have active drugs going into the waterway through our urine or feces. Last month, a study of First Nations communities found levels of three prescription drugs in one southern Ontario river that were the highest in North America. And an unpublished Health Canada survey of tap water across the country found traces of prescription drugs in drinking water. Mark Servos is the lead author. There are um, pharmaceuticals, as we expected, um, that are widely distributed in surface waters going into drinking water plants, and very low concentrations are detectable, um, but the concentrations are, are, are very, very low. Because the drugs show up in such tiny traces, it would take hundreds of glasses of water before someone would be exposed to even a normal dose of the drug. They're very uh, low in concentrations. On the other hand, uh, we have to be concerned because there's a mixture of these drugs that uh, we're being exposed to in drinking water, and so that's uh, some cause for concern. Scientists still don't know if that combination of drugs in water poses a human health risk. That research has not been done. The World Health Organization calls it a knowledge gap. In Canada, there are no national standards for pharmaceuticals in drinking water, but environment officials are working on a water quality guideline for carbamazepine, an anti-epileptic drug that shows up almost everywhere. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.